This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Let's talk about this OpenBSD security functionality that is called Unveil. Unveil usually goes hand in hand with another security functionality or feature called Pledge, but in this video our focus would be solely on Unveil because we are going to write some code to demonstrate how Unveil works and then basically you can get a better idea and a bigger picture about this feature. So what does Unveil mean? Unveil is a security feature introduced in OpenBSC 6.0. It is a mechanism to restrict file system access of a program. It allows a program to access only to the directories or files that is needed to perform its operations and denies access to everything else, including the parent directories and also you can set the permission in what mode you want the program to access to the certain files or to the certain directories. How the Unveil works underneath, it's implemented as a system call that takes two arguments as we can see in the code. The first argument is called path, so you can actually path the pass the path that you would like to whitelist or allow the program to access and the second parameter would be the permission it's a, a string or pointer of character so it can be read only it can be write it can be executable and create or deletion so let's go through some practical example and write a bit of c code to demo this unveil feature so we are going to create the file called unveil.c and first of all we start by writing a super simple c program scdio stdlib.h and then int main int argc number of arguments and then argv and we are going to return zero and we are going to print something so hello world and let's test the program to see whether it passes cc unveil okay so the program works now what we are going to do we are going to import unveil unistd.h and we have to init or invoke the unveil so let's say I want to enable access to my desktop. So this is going to be desktop and the permission I'm giving it as read only. Unveil return a, an integer which basically tells us whether Unveil is successful or no. So we call it result and then we check it. If result is not zero then we are going to error that uh, enabling the unveil failed so p error failed to enable unveil and afterwards we are going to exit the program and return one so it failed otherwise we are going to print that actually successfully enabled unveil and then this guy and afterwards we are going to do our stuff the moment that we don't want to use unveil we just say unveil null null this one is recommended to pass a uh, to call when you want to terminate your program but let's say you have unveil here and then if you have another unveil then it's just going to add that path on top of the existing one it's not going to revoke it so we are going to see an example together now what we are going to do we are going to simply open a file and try to read it so we say file fp this is the standard c opening the file thingy so desktop what we have here under desktop we have a file called lorem ipsum.txt so a slash lorem ipsum.txt and we are going to read it and we have to check see whether the file pointer is null or no 
because if it null means that it fails to open the file and we, we cannot continue the program so we are going to exit from it so p error fails to open the file and then we say return one again so if we try to compile and run this program it works of course we need to close the pointer as well here so f close fp so we are going to compile it not this guy oh, come on all right so successfully enabled on veil it doesn't do anything however if i try to actually replace this one with right the program should fail permission denied as if that i cannot have i don't have right permission to this file of course this file is under my user i am the owner of this file i can do anything that i want here right now in my bash but if I write the program and I enable on veil and I said just read only access as if that it is this program it has no ownership over this file and it fails but let's complete our program right now because we have more things to do and now for example if I say read plus append it should fail as well so you see permission denied as well so now if we want to print the output of this file we are going to define a buffer size first so it's going to be 255 and then we are going to create our buffer and the size of the buffer would be buffer underscore size and then after that we are going to read a file line by line using while loop so f get s and then we need to pass the buffer buffer size and then the file pointer let me bring it up so this one what it says it says copy a string to here with the size of this from this file pointer so it reads basically an a string in the length of 255 of course if your file is random or if it's binary it's going to print garbage or not work altogether and the moment that there is the we reach to the end of the file this one condition would be false and as a result it jumps out from the while loop all right so now if we compile this file and we run it you see it prints but if we again just to have a better demo if we do right and we try to compile it will fail so note that here it gives us permission denied but if we change the path let's say to s slash tmp s slash i shouldn't delete the file name let's say if we want to read it from s slash tmp so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this file to the tmp directory and if i carry it we should see it so the file exists under tmp and make sure to save this one if you try to run we get the different error here it gives us no such a file or directory so the beauty of this unveil is that the moment that we try to access to a path that we haven't whitelisted it basically gives us as if that this file or this directory doesn't exist so it gives such error no such a file or directory and the moment that we try to do an operation on a file that we have a visibility over yet we don't have any for example authority to change the permission it gives a permission denied so now for example let's be a smart guy let's say okay i want to have slash home slash this desktop let's see what happens right for example i think this one should work under uh normal bash i'm not sure under c so we are testing it together 
So if we do this one, it should go one directory up, right? So as you can see, this is a way of doing it. So let me copy this one to here. So what we have here, we have this file. So we try to open it and let's try and open it with read only. Let's see whether it works against it or not. I'm 100% sure that it works because it's the unveil code is not written by incompetent people. It's written by pretty much top class developers. So it should give you no such a file or error as well. So if you want to do a smart thing to kind of like see whether work around of it works, it doesn't work. Now let's say you want to access not only to the desktop, but also you want to have access to the TMP directory. That is super simple. In this case, I am not going to check the result for now because I want to just show you how you can get the further access to the file system. You can call unveil and then pass whatever you want and you can change the permission. But let's say in this case, you just want read only. And now if I change my code to read from CMP directory, it should work. So it works. And now also I can actually access to the desktop at the same time too. So this is how it works. So I can give further permission However, there is no way to revoke this given permission until the program ends. So if I gave access to the desktop, I cannot say that, all right, you shouldn't have access to desktop anymore. I cannot do that. So we need to be careful where we, we invoked unveil and which part of the file system we want to access and what would be the permission of it. However, let's say I want to call unveil once and I don't want in the rest of the program, nobody else, no such, no, no other function, no other piece of code to call unveil. So let's say after I call unveil and then, for example, if I call unveil and then I pass to null pointer here, this one, it's going to disable further invocation of the unveil functionality and if we check the result here right so printf second unveil results it would be something rather than zero and then if we try to actually now access to the tmp directory it will fail. So CC unveil, and as you can see, second unveil result is negative one, and it failed to open the file, no such a file or directory. So this setting unveil to null and null disables further invocation of unveil, yet at the same time, it does not disable the unveil functionality. Meaning that you are still, by calling unveil null and null, you are not gonna gain access back to the entire file system. You are just saying that I don't want anybody else from this point onward to call unveil to gain additional access or visibility to the file system. That's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors, Grog with 30 generous dollar, Stellar Orbit with 20 generous dollar, Inlocash with 10 generous euro, OpenBSD Maximalist, Alexander M, Hogarth Hackscock, Monthy, Russell Willis, and Seneca, OpenBSD Enthusiast, DMT and Liquid Mobius, and finally, OpenBSD Curious, Ryan Woodford. Thank you guys for your contributions.